want. Oh, wait, hold on. I had hair on my eyelash. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, ready now. Welcome back to the table. Today we have a very special playthrough for you, but it's particularly special, not just because it's Wormspan, but because Elisha is here, my lovely wife. Ding. You may remember her <laughs> from such epic playthroughs as Ooh. our Earth Round One, yeah. our Return to Dark Tower Round One, that among, was epic. among others. Uh, but this one's particularly epic because we're giving you one of the first chances to see a lot of Wormspan played. Now, by a lot, I mean not an entire game. We're going to play through two rounds. That's going to be the first half of the game. It'll give you plenty of ideas about how the game goes. We'll, I'm sure, do just about everything there is to be done. You'll see some of the scoring. The game is both different and similar to Wingspan. Of course, it's different in that it's dragons and everything like that. But aside from that, gameplay-wise, one of the similarities is how we're scoring over here. It has the round track that's going to look pretty familiar. Yeah, so in each round, we're going to have public objectives. And with this game, we're going to have in the first round uh, hatchlings. So whoever has the most hatchlings is going to get four points, and the second place is going to get one. Then we're going to have cached resources, then total uh, egg spaces on our dragons, and then a uh, type of dragon, which are the playful dragons. Yeah, there's a number of these different public objectives. We randomly chose these. Uh, this kind of gives, I think, a pretty good feel for what you expect in the game. There are some others that talk specifically about dragons with this on them or dragons with that on them, things like that. But these are the ones we're going to be doing. Uh, between each round, we're going to be getting six coins. In this game, you use coins for your actions instead of the action cubes. Uh, and that's probably one of the biggest differences here that you'll see. In Wingspan, you start with those cubes, and then throughout the game, you get fewer and fewer because you're giving one up every round. Mm. So it gets a little more suffocating, and which is cool. It's tense. I like this because there's actually ways to chase more of these throughout the game, so you can string out bigger turns, yeah. uh, which is always exciting. Uh, but we did a little preliminary setup. We're going to jump right in. Uh, one last thing I want to tell you about is the Dragon Guild. As you can see on the table here, there are no dice. There's no dice tower. That's not how you collect your resources here. You're going to get your resources from all over the place. One of those places was when you go around the Dragon uh, Guild, you're going to collect some resources as you go around it. But there's a lot of card play in this game, even more so than Wingspan. And a lot of those cards are going to let you collect resources, not to mention exploring a particular cave to collect some resources. But like I said, we did some preliminary setup. Uh, we started with three dragon cards and three cave cards, and you can select four of those total. Mm -hmm. I kept three dragons and one cave. What did you I keep? I kept two and two. Two and two. Mm -hmm. That's very even keeled. Yeah. Of you. Um, we also have our six action tokens. And then the last thing you do is each player gets any three resources that they want. I took two meats and a gold. You'll, uh, you'll see why in a minute. I took a meat, a milk, and a gold, and we also get one egg to start. Yes, we do get one egg. Uh, the actions that you can take, you can check those out. Uh, I know Jamie Stegmeier has a video up where he showed the excavate, the explore, and the entice. We're not going to go into great detail, but those are the actions we're going to be taking, and you'll see how they work as we play. Finally, we've decided, ladies go first, Elisha is going to start things today. Special guest. Special guest. That's right. What kind of host would I be, <laughs> and husband, if I didn't let her go first? All right. So what are you going to do? Let's see. I am going to... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to entice, which means that I'm going to oh, bring right off out, the bat. Right off the bat. I'm getting her out. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my ravenous granite dragon. And they have to go down in the amethyst abyss because this card dictates this is where this guy lives. And he's going to cost me my egg and a milk. Hmm. Yeah, and that's a hatchling. Mm -hmm. uh, as you remembered, the hatchlings are one of the things that's going to be scored in the first round. Already I'm in the lead. Taking a survey of my <laughs> cards and not liking what I'm seeing. The other thing about the hatchlings is they operate a little bit differently than a lot of the dragons. They'll always require at least an egg mm -hmm. and then some amount of milk, obviously, because they're hatchlings, they're little baby dragons. But they also have stacked abilities that fire off usually yep. when you explore that cavern. Uh, so that's your turn. I am going to also entice. What? Yeah. So I'm going to entice, which is to play a dragon. Uh, the first three spaces are ready. 
Uh, any of the other spaces have to be excavated first before you can play a dragon, but the first three spaces are already excavated. So I'm going to play the Spry Horned Lung Dragon. Uh, it's going to cost me two meat. Mm -hmm. And when I play it, this has a when played ability. I get an extra action token. What? This is exactly what I was talking about. This is so why unfair. I chose the cards that I chose and the resources I took because... I love getting extra actions. I know, I know. That's my turn. Well, shoot. All right. For my next action, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to excavate. And I'm going to play this right here. And when I play this, I get to gain a resource and lay an egg. Mm. And I think what I'm going to. What resource would you like as she looks at her dragon? I know, right? Four reasons. Uh, I think I will take a meat. There's your meat. And you get to lay an egg. I sure do. Uh, your player board has uh, two spaces for eggs on them. And then, of course, your dragons can carry eggs as well. Not the hatchlings, though. So Not I'm going to go have to put it over here in my reserve. Did your hatchling... Oh, your hatchling is... That's where you spent your egg. I sure did. All right. Back over to me. I am going to excavate as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, note that the excavate is going to cost the action coin that you spend. Also, if you get further over on your board, it's going to cost in the third column an egg and in the fourth column two eggs. I'm not over there yet. You have to play in the leftmost space. Uh, I am going to play... I think I'm going to just go ahead and play up there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to play that. Uh, I gain this little icon means that I get to move on the Dragon Guild once. So I'm going to move my thing on the Dragon Guild and collect that, which lets me lay an egg. Wow. I will lay that on that dragon. And how did uh, you do that? Uh, I moved. Oh, because your card yeah. let you do it. Okay. And I get to lay an egg based on that card. So that basically netted me two eggs. I'll that put them is right crazy. There. And he's got room for two? He just has room for two. Whew. So... Yeah, you got to be careful about getting eggs. It is nice that they put these spaces on your board so that you can do just about anything and they have those excavated spaces. So there's there's no first turn that's out of the question. Sure. But go right ahead. All right. So I think for my next turn, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to entice again. Dang. Which means, I know, right? I'm going to go ahead and put a new dragon out. What it's is he? Reticent Manta. And it's going to cost me a meat and a gold. And yeah, when I run this cave, I'm going to gain a, uh, a, gold, a gold. And you may cash it? Yeah. We played a warm-up game, and she kept calling the gold butter. Yeah. Because it does kind of look it like It looks butter. like a stick of butter. <laughs> I mean, prove me wrong. Um, back to me. So I have limited my options. I have no caves left. I just have dragons. Uh, so I think I am going to go ahead and entice another dragon. So I will use the entice action again. Um, and I'm going to entice this wise antel dragon uh, right here into the golden grotto. It's going to cost me that gold that I have. Uh, and it has an explorability as well. So Ooh. the first one had a when played. This one has an explorability. You'll see how those work. Probably before the end of the first round. Right. And when you run that cave, you're going to get all kinds of I'm cards. I'm going to get all the cards. I know. All right. I've got yet one more to play if I wanted to. I've got three things. Why wouldn't I is my thought. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and I will go ahead and excavate again as well. Um, I will put it... And she can put it anywhere. The excavate cards or the cave cards can go in any of the caves. The color on the cards is irrelevant. It's only the dragons that have requirements in terms of what cave they can go into. That's a good point. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it here since I've got a dragon already there. And if I want to keep running a <coughs> deeper and deeper cave. So I'm going to gain a gold, gold not butter. Butter and a crystal. And a crystal. Nice. It's going to be really hard for me to say gold because I called it butter the yeah. entire pregame. Called it cheese one time, too. I did. She, like, just didn't want to call it gold. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, 
I'm going to have to explore, I think, because Ooh. it's really my only option. But where do I want to explore? Just get all the cards. Do it. I think I'm going to explore up here. And when you explore, uh, you can explore. The first time you explore any cave, it just costs you the coin, as you can see here. But if during this round I explore that same cave again, it's going to cost a coin and an egg, and then a coin and two eggs, and then I'm done. So I'm going to explore it now. I'm going to take my little explorer. He's going to go along this cave as far as he can go until he sees a stop sign. He's going to collect everything where you see this icon. So he's going to get a resource here. Um, and I am going to get a meat. <laughs> no, I'm going to get a gold, a gold, a gold. Right. Um, and then you'll skip over this card, but the dragon has to be there because the dragon's covering up the stop sign. I move over to this next one. That's going to let me go on the dragon guild again. That gets me a meat. Mm -hmm. And then I hit the stop sign, so he's done exploring. That's how an explorer works. Obviously, as you get more cards played in the game, the end of the game, kind of like Wingspan, you're exploring and running off a dump bunch of different stuff. The difference being you're going from left to right, and all these things are pretty much in and of themselves things that aren't dependent on other things around it. So the, right. like in Wingspan, sometimes you could screw the order up and go, oh, I wish I could fire this off differently. This one is pretty generous. It's nice. Your turn. All right. I think I'm also going to explore. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and explore Amethyst Abyss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to take my guy and I'm going to go ahead and gain a cave. Mm, and when you gain caves or dragons, you can take from the display or top deck it. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh. And then I get to cash a meat from my supply, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And any time I do that, I also get to lay an egg. Dang. Boop, indeed. What's the third thing? It's not happening? But... So when the third meat is placed on this card, I also gain a gold and a meat. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the hatchlings work. They have those sort of three steps in various different Quite nice. Options. And then I get to go around on the dragon guild. Oh, nice. So you get to Gonna lay get another... Did you just lay three eggs? I did. No. Wow. Just two. Just two? Just two. Uh, and that's where I stop. All right. So then I move my guy back. Okay, well then, I need, oh, I'm unfortunately going to have to do that again, I think. So I'm going to explore the Crimson Cavern again. It's going to cost me An egg. this egg. Yep. Um, so I will take another resource. This is not the most efficient play, but I'm going to take <laughs> a purple crystal. It's kind of hard having an extra turn on the first round because you're just kind of so resource poor. Yeah, and that's a good note because you can pass whenever you want and you can carry those action coins over to the next yep. round if you want. But at the end of any turn that you take, if you have nine or more, you have to discard down to nine if you have ten or more. Um, so that doesn't it's not going to happen very often, but if you passed really early and carried a bunch over you might get in trouble. Now, is that nine total resources, including your coins? No, so it's nine coins, nine total resources, mm -hmm. separate from coins, and then nine total cards. So you have to discard down to nine of each of those three categories. But at the cards end of your include turn. Cards dragons, includes both cards. Both yeah. types, caves and dragons. Uh, and then I move once more here. What? And it gives me a card. Dragon card. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, this should have resupplied. Oh yes. At the end of my turn. It won't help me, but no, that's but not still. Bad. Um. And yeah, these only resupply after your turn. I think I'm gonna take the variegated amphitheater. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know my dragons, but all you dragon experts out there. Oh, one cool thing: the game does come with this booklet that has every single card in it with all the dragons that even has some flavor text in it and really? kind of yeah 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 details the whole thing. That's kind of fun. It doesn't have pronunciation though, which is what I was hoping it would have. <laughs> is that it for you? Um yes, I gained my card from this Perfect. and I was done with the exploration. I'll go ahead and I'll refill this then. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to excavate one last time. And I'm going to place it here. 
And when I do that, I gain two different benefits, which includes dragon, guild, caves, or resources. I get two, and then every other person gets one. Oh. So you're welcome. So you gain two different benefits? Correct. Go ahead. You have, she goes first, and yep. then I will go. I think I'm going to go on... Ooh, let's see. You got options. She can I take do. a dragon card. She can move around the dragon guild, which would net you a meat. Um... And one step further on the Dragon Guild. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Ant... Well, wow. Antediluvian. <laughs> Antediluvian. Basilisk. You're just making it difficult for us, Stonemeyer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take this one as my dragon. And then I'm going to go ahead and go around the guild, I think. Hold on. Two seconds, maybe. Maybe. No. I'm going to... Yes. No. <laughs> Don't. No. Decisions. Meat. Meat. I'm sorry. I will take... Uh, oh, you want to take a meat? Because you'll get a meat if you go around. The, uh, I think I do, because I want to have a stash I of... know, but you just want a meat from a resource, or do you want to go around here to get the meat? Ooh, that's a great question. I'm going to go around better. to get the meat. Yes. No. Boom. Thank you. So she got the meat, and she's a little further on the Dragon Guild. Okay. I'll mention the Dragon Guild here, because you want to go around this not only for those bonuses, but mm. here at the bottom, and when you get back around to the top... You're able to interact with this Guild of Seafarers tile. There's four different tiles in the game. We use this one. When you hit these, you can take one of your action cubes and choose any open space here and take that bonus or reward. Sometimes they're end of game points, but sometimes they're very opportunistic actions that you can take right then, which are very helpful. Yeah. It's back to me? Yeah. All right. Uh, hmm. 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 You got two more turns. I do, because I got that extra... extra turn. I got that extra action. I'm going to... Can I stop you for a second? Yeah. Did you take your thing? Oh, I didn't take my thing. Do you took that. the two things. I took my two things, take your oh. one thing. That might help. And what are the things? You're welcome. Any one of these. Oh, I forgot. That's yeah. going to help hugely. You're welcome. Um, oh, uh, let's replace well, that. Well, I don't get to take oh, that. Oh, you're uh, it doesn't replace quite yet. I'm going to take this one. Nice. Uh, I am going to excavate. Okay. And I'm going to play this right here. That is going to gain me a meat and a gold. I'm, I've got a decent, decent collection of resources now. I don't. He did mind, last game. Too. I don't mind not having. I'm, I don't mind having a lot of resources. But again, you can't go crazy because you have to discard down. Uh, so that's my turn. I just excavated. Well, all right. I have no more action coins. So oh, you're passing. I have to. So you still Back get one me. more. This is what I was talking about. This is what's fun. Not that she's not going anymore, of course. But stringing out your round with multiple actions is awesome. I think uh, in our warm-up game, uh, we both had rounds where we had extra actions. I had one where I had 10 actions, which is an extra four, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I am going to entice, though. Uh, and when I entice, I'm going to spend a purple crystal, a gold, and a meat to pay the variegated amphitheater because at the end of the game, I'm going to gain two points for each dragon in an orthogonally adjacent space. Ooh. So I just need to get all of these filled to max him out at eight. Well, I had that guy last two. game, and yeah. I put him in the same spot. Yeah, you did. You did. That's I right. know. Was well, it the I... same guy? I don't know if it was the same, but he had the same power. The same power. Similar power, anyway. Anyway, so she's passed. I am out of actions. That is the end of round one. Yep. So the first thing we do in turn order, we check to see if we have any cards that have the stopwatch. Nope. I don't either. Uh, those cards with the stopwatch, in turn order, you're going to fire those cards off in whatever order you want. They let you do some things, usually like tucking cards or caching mm -hmm. resources. Then we're going to look over there. I'm afraid you've got me here. I got a hatchling. So hatchling. And I unfortunately, I have none. So I'm way down here in the zero spot. No points. I mean, it's one less than I would have gotten had I sure. had a hatchling. And then could you move that pink? Marker yep, to the we're tomb. going to move it down here. Then these dragons wash. Same thing with the caves. The caves wash. Uh, and then we'll each get six tokens again. So one, two, six three, coins. four, five, six. I'm just going to go ahead and take mine back off my board. And we get to see some new caves and dragons. We each get an egg, so don't forget that Yes, we too. do each get an egg. I'm going to go ahead. 
Oh, she's full, so I'm going to put her M maxed out. Shoot, I'm dope. Are you? I am! Oh. So we're ready for round two. The player marker comes over to me. <clears throat> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And we will play one more round just to give you a little bit more idea of what's happening here. Uh, I haven't thought at all. Oh, I need to take my tokens off. And You get one less, so don't give yourself the seven. Aw. Yeah. Okay. Well then, I think the first thing I'm going to do, yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'm going to explore mm. the Golden Grotto this time. I'm gonna go here and gain a dragon card. Um, I'll take this guy here, Puck's Horned Drake. I uh, gotta be careful how you say that. Um, <laughs> then he's gonna move here and I have a card that you can explore. I gain another card. What? Uh, we don't refill it quite yet. No. But he can always top deck if he does not like yes, what's on the display. And I think I'm going to take this card. Mm -hmm. Then we go here, and I go around the Dragon Guild. Boom. That's going to get me cave? a cave. What? Oh, <gasps> hello. David! Hello. I will take that cave. This cave lets you move twice on the Dragon Guild, and then every other opponent gets to move once. But I like moving around that Dragon Guild. I know it. Uh, then this one doesn't have anyone, but I go here and get another dragon card. I am going to top deck this one. All right. She all cute? right, all right. It's the most beautiful dragon I've ever seen. <laughs> the cards I'm are really you, adorable. I'm showing you my card that I got up on screen right now, but she can't see it. That's future David talking. <laughs> all, all right, right, it is your turn. We need to refill. Oh, yes. Give me some options. Oh, yeah. Uh, and a cave. Card. And a cave. There's a hatchling. Not that that matters anymore, but still. Yeah, the hatchlings don't matter. I mean, there's I mean, other cards, maybe. Sure. Yeah, because now we gotta start caching resources. Um, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to entice the dragon that I picked up, and then I'm going to place a basilisk here. <laughs> the anti antediluvian yes. basilisk. Yes. Uh, for the gold and the crystal. And that's one of those stopwatch ones. Exactly. So when the next round ends, I get to tuck cards here from the deck. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, and then something about the... Um, and then for each marker, let me see, tuck one card from the deck here for each marker you have placed on the Dragon oh, Guild. Oh, you have to get some markers out here. I know, I have to move. All right, my turn? Yes. Okay, oh, my guy needs to go back to base camp. Yep. Um, well, speaking of markers out there, I think I might excavate. Yeah, I think I'm going to excavate. Uh, boom. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. Excavate there. And to excavate there, I need to spend an egg. So I will spend an egg. But when I place this down, I get to go twice here. One, two. That gives me a purple crystal, as well as being able to put a marker out here. Um, I'm going to put a marker, not an egg, not an egg. <laughs> uh, and uh, you're going to be able to move and get a card as well. Sweet. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this action right here. It's like mm. one of those opportunistic actions I was talking about. It says, pay a card, then play a card from your hand for free. Boo! Uh, I am going to pay... Uh, I don't want to pay any of these. I'm going to pay this one that I picked up. That was that beautiful dragon, the hawkish fireburn. Didn't like her that much. No. <laughs> She's worth paying uh, to play this customary oh grazer. Oh my gosh, that's a perfect card and to it use uh, for that. And it is a very expensive card. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and play that up here so I can go further on there. Nice. That would normally cost a lot, uh, but I get to play it for free, not paying a crystal, a gold, a meat, and an action token, which is nice to avoid. This is gonna be end game scoring, three points for each hatchling on your player mat. I don't have any right now, so. But like I was saying, that's another reason to get hatchlings, even though that public objective is done. Did you say something about me being able to pick up a card? Yes. I, that, that all started with uh, gaining 
uh, two on this, and then you gain one. So you will move here. Thank you. And that will give you a dragon card. Sweet. Let me see. Which one do I like? <laughs> I'm going to top, top deck. Top deck. Hope I get lucky. Is she a beauty? She's gorgeous. <laughs> there are some adorable dragons in this. There are some less adorable dragons, but the artwork is really good. They're very cool. Here's your turn. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, I think that has more less to do with the art and more to do with the power. <laughs> she's great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just have the one card, but I think I'm going to go ahead and run a cave. So I'm going to go ahead and explore. Which one? Which one indeed? Let's see. Mm. Oh, sounds like a resource one. <laughs> sounds like I'm going to do her first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, oh, shh, I'm going to nope, explore up here. And so I'm going to take my guy and I'm going to gain a resource. I'm going to take like? a crystal for reasons. Crystal for reasons. And then I'm going to, this one gives oh. me, I'm going to gain a Gold, gold. not then, butter. And then you may cash it there. You don't have to. Boop. Sounds like she doesn't need gold. And I'm going to move on the track. I'm Which gonna gets you a cave. a cave. So you can see here, there's a lot of combo-y feeling that I don't think you felt as much, or at least in the same way as you do in Wingspan. I think it was one of the big differences. Mm -hmm. And after having played this now a few times, it is one of the things I appreciate appreciate about this one. Hmm. So you're getting what? Oh, a cave card. A cave card. Like, those are all interesting, but... I'm oh, gonna... top deck. Yeah. That's your new nickname, I, I think. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> back to me? Uh, yes, because that's where I stopped. And then my little guy goes back. Okay. Well, I need some stuff. Um... I am going to explore the Crimson Cavern as well. All right. So I'll start there, and I will get a meat. Four reasons. Four reasons. And I'll go over here and move here Man. and lay an egg. You're crushing that, baby. Uh, and then I will go here and get another resource. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get milk, because I want to start prepping the way for hatchlings. <laughs> And that is the end of my explore. Okay. I am also going to explore again. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. And I'm going to gain a dragon card. I'm going to go ahead and top deck it again, just because I like to live dangerously. Ooh. All right. And then I'm going to gain another spot on the track and that get a crystal. A triple crystal. Mm-hmm. And I am done. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm feeling better about this round. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I feel like I'm in pretty good shape for the playful situation at the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, unless you catch up. But I am going to entice. Okay. And I'm going to play Puck's Horned Drake right here for two meat. Uh, and this is going to be a stopwatch thing that happens at the end of the round. If you have at least three dragons in this cave, lay an egg on each dragon in this cave. Ooh. During the uh, upkeep, which is nice. nice. Yeah. So that's my turn. Okay. Let's see. Excavate. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go ahead and excavate up here. And since it's in this third column, it's going to cost me an egg. And so this one, up to three times, I can pay an egg to gain two resources. Oh. And each opponent may do this just the once. Oh, so I can spend an egg to get two resources? Correct. But you can do it six? You can I get can... Up to, oh. Uh-huh. Are you going to spend that many? You have three eggs. I know. Let's see. Right. Man, the, the horrible thing is if you have a card like that and you don't have dragons in your hand and you're like, you have no information as to what resources you want. Right. But I have two, and I think I am going to hmm. spend at least this one and get two meat, please. Two meat? For one. For one. 
Uh, Man, that, what a great card to get a ton of resources. I know. Wow. I mean, Especially, you are giving up three points, though. Uh, but still, but you'll get those when you need them. And it's, you know, very early in the game yeah. still. Uh, and then I think I'll do it. One more time. Four. And I will get... I'm going to get a milk. Oh, somebody has a hatchling. I'm going to get I'm going to get two milk. Mm. Someone's looking at the other hatchlings. For reasons. <laughs> Is that your turn? Tis. And then I You get to go ahead and do I that. I get to do it once. I Correct. will uh I will spend an egg. Okay. And get two things. What you going to get? Um, I'm going to get two milk. Okay. <laughs> That's All right. what I'm gonna get. Yeah. All right, my turn. I've got two actions left. Woo! <clears throat> oh, I, uh, yikes. I'm going to, I'm gonna explore the Golden Grotto. Ooh. It's gonna cost me one of my eggs. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> um, but I get to explore this. It's gonna give me a card. I am taking this bad boy right here. <gasps> How dare you take a hatchling? Uh, then I move here and I get another card. If you take that, I am going to take David. Another hatchling turd. Then I go here and move on the Dragon Guild. Mm -hmm. That's going to get me a gold. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> oh boy! I know. Oh boy! <laughs> she went there. That's why. That's why he brings me here. It is for the jokes. Yeah. Uh, and then I get one more card. I'm going to top deck this mm -hmm. card. Maybe another hatchling. <laughs> I mean, I don't have that much milk, <laughs> but I'm square on hatchlings at the moment. Uh, that was my turn. So he's done exploring, and these cards. Look at that! It's a hatchling and a large guy. Oof. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Over to you. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, you have any? Ca oh, you do have some cash resources. Dang it! You're gonna win this. No, I mean on your oh. cards. Oh yeah. You're gonna that's, get this next cash resource. That's happening. Ah, I don't have one. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna get zero again. <laughs> we might re-record this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am gonna go ahead and entice one of my beautiful dragons. I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play oh. this one. Does that have a one played ability? Yes. Nice. And I'm going to pay my oh, last turn ouch. a meat and a an crystal. Oh, I kept wow. wanting to say amethyst for a second. That might be right. I don't know. But I'm going to do that. And when I can pay a resource to play a dragon from the display what? for free. What? Is the hatchling coming? Mm, I mean, I have hatchling money. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't really need the hatchlings Ooh, like I do. What's what's she do? Oh, that's worthwhile. I know. It's six points, plus it costs an action token, so it's at least the most expensive one. Yeah, and for each medium that yeah, I have. Yeah, it has an end game uh, scoring two points for each medium dragon. How many do you have right now? None. Oh, oh except for it, right? I know, that's fair, except for it. <clears throat> Let me see. And then this one here, I gained two six points. points if this dragon... Oh. Is between two other dragons? Yeah, so it's just the two points, but it is a six-point card. Yeah, so it could be worth ten. Oh, I see. No, be worth eight. eight. I get it. I get right. it. Right, 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 right. Still not bad. Mm, I think I might take her. And play it for free? And play it for free, which... Oh, she can go anywhere. She can. I'm going to have her run... Mm. Here. All right. Okay. It's a hard decision. I oftentimes want to fill up a whole cave because I really love running a whole cave. But sure then does. I've completely ignored the Amethyst Abyss down here so far. <laughs> it's back to me. Uh, two seconds. I did that, did that. Yes. I just want okay. to make sure before we move on. All right. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I can do is entice. Okay. I'm going to entice the vampiric horned dragon down here in the amethyst abyss for one egg oh i can't spend that egg no you spent it i'm all out of eggs now oh yeah um and two milk 
and it has one of those exploration abilities. But now I've got at least a full column of cards here. Vampiric Horned Dragon. It's adorable, by the way, the <laughs> vampiric. It doesn't sound adorable. It says vampiric, after all, but it's an adorable dragon. It looks like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. He does kind of have that vibe. Pretty or cute. or the, the one from How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, yeah. I can't believe we haven't made a How to Train Your Dragon joke yet. I know. It does look a little like that one, except purple. Anyway, that is me. I'm done. That's my round. That's it. Oh, that's your <gasps> round, too? Yeah, because oh, I... Oh, because you spent that action. I did. All right. So now we do the stopwatch abilities. I think we both have one now, right? I do. I have uh, one. Yes. And I am the first player. Fine. Uh, my Puck's Horn Drake. If you have at least three dragons in this cave, lay an egg on each of those dragons. That's nice. Oh, no, on each dragon in the cave. So it could be even four if I get four. Wow. I just need space on those dragons. This guy's not going to be able to hold much. Um, that's me. What's yours? Mine, I didn't get far enough on the track. I didn't oh, consider... Oh, you didn't get a marker. Yeah, I was going to run another cave to get another, you know, move forward on that track huh. one more time. But I had to spend it to get my dragon out. So... I don't yeah, get to Yeah, you got do... a free dragon plate out of that. That is true. That is That's absolutely true. So I will do that next round. Okay, and then we go over to the public objective, which is cached resources. I hate what this is going to do. I have two. I have none. Because <laughs> eggs don't count. She has five points there. I get another zero. This is not looking good. Um, so we're going to reset to start the third round and then play the fourth round. We're going to do all of that off camera. We'll come back, though when we're ready to score things up so you can see the pain that I'm sure I will endure as we add up the scores. Uh, but we'll be right back. And we are back. We played the last two rounds. Things filled up quite a bit. Uh, yeah. The last two rounds, this game builds and builds and builds. I do think, like I said earlier, this is one big difference. Uh, my memory of Wingspan is that it feels more constricting as you play it because you're losing actions. And again, in this game, I had at least one round, if not more, where I had like 10 actions. Yeah, I was done, and he was able to go like four actions. more turns. And I was like, I'm going to go potty. Yeah, she got up and left. <laughs> she got up and left the table while I took my four turns. I didn't cheat, I promise. Um, but that is a really satisfying aspect. The other thing that I find fascinating is that this came down super close. Yeah. Like, as in, we tied close. So Amazing. We, we did add up the scores. We're going to go through it line by line. Uh, but, spoiler alert, we tied. Uh, the first thing was markers on the Dragon's Guild. There are some point opportunities out here. I took one towards the end for six points, but she had taken one here that gave her three points for every filled column of dragons, and she got three of those. So I got nine. That yeah. was nine points. And she took that before she had that, so she knew that she wanted to try Goals. to fulfill that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that was nine to six in favor of her. The next one was printed on dragons. Now, I filled out my whole board. Uh, so... I didn't fill it out with as high value of dragons as I thought. So I had 39 points. And she had two fewer dragons, but got 35 points out of them. Yeah. Uh, the next thing was endgame abilities um, or endgame scoring on some of our cards. I think I just had You had two. a couple. I had a this couple as well. This guy gave me eight. Uh, the hatchling. Yeah, the one that I played while I was on camera that gave me three points per hatchling. I only ever got one. I had I drew a couple more hatchlings, but I never, never played. played. I ditched nope. them at one point. Uh, it's it's hard. You have to go so heavy on milk, yeah, to get those things played. And I had this guy who wanted milk, so it was kind of hard, hard to do. Uh, then we got some egg points. Uh, I got fifteen. She got twelve. Yep. Uh, then cashed resources. She edged me out a little bit here. She had ten. I had seven. So many. Uh, then tucked cards. I had six. She had four. Can't believe he beat me in those. So as you can see, well, I got two right at the end of the game. That's too. true. The last game, I had nine tucked. Um, then public objectives. This was interesting. You saw her take the first two, and I got zero. Well, I took the second two, but unfortunately, she got some points on those and not zero. So total in everything, she had sixteen in public objectives. I had thirteen. Yeah. And then finally, for our remaining resources, we each had one point. So at this point, before we added it up, we were like, it feels like it's pretty close. Back and forth, back and forth. We added it all up. We both scored 98 points, which also is a pretty solid score. Yeah. 
In our warm up, we did a little better than that. I it was won't... 101 to 106. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then in my previous games, I played with Ryan and we both scored in the 70s. 80s. Again, oh, 80s. 80s. One point away from each other, though. And then Emily and I had played, and I think we were down That's, in the 70s. That was in the 70s. Yeah. Um, again, one point away from each other. So right. it's crazy to me. One of my favorite things in gaming is when you can play a game, you can do all sorts of different things than the other player at the table yeah, and I wind up close. I, I had a turn where I was able to play three things on a single action because I had built a cave which allowed me to put out a dragon at a discount and then the dragon I put out let me put out yet another cave yeah. completely for free. So it's really satisfying when you can like get all of those linked together and maximize sort of the free aspect when you've gotten into this fourth column here where it cost eggs. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a it, lot of fun to string out your turn. Yeah, stringing out your turn is the name of the game here for me as a big comparison point for this to Wingspan is Wingspan, my memory is that Wingspan never gave me those like, oh, I'll do this, then I'll do this, then I'll do this. And chasing those actions, yeah. I will, I will, that will be the hill I die on because I won't <laughs> He ever, loves that. I will never be able to play this game and not like, oh, there's a tile, there's a card that gives me a free action. I know. Every time one of these caves came out that says like, when you play this, get an action coin. I took I flipped it. one over for him. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, was, I knew was it was happening. But yes, that was our game of Wormspan ah, 98. 98 to 98. Oh, that's true. It uh -huh. wasn't a tie. No. We had the same tie score. Breaker. The tiebreaker, I almost forgot, came down to the number of visible dragons that you have. I know. Could you tell from my attitude that I did not win that <laughs> tiebreaker? <laughs> so I had my board full. She had two less dragons, so I won on the tiebreaker. Yay, but yeah. David. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but the score was 98-98, uh, and it was a really, really fun game. I have to say, um, I still like Wingspan. I'm not throwing yes. the Wingspan out. But what Connie Vogelman, the designer of this, who did Apiary last year, brought to the table with this version of this type of experience, not to mention development by Elizabeth Hardgrave, this one feels like it gives a slightly different experience in that major way of being able to sort of string things out. Now, it will bring probably maybe some longer turns. Yes. Um, and maybe stretch the game out sometime when you're playing at the table with four people. I never have a problem with that. I don't no. mind waiting for turns when I... Because I enjoy watching someone do a crazy turn, even if it's not me. Yeah. But yeah, that's what this game brings. If you have any questions at all about it, or if you want a little bit more below by below, I will show some of the cards that we had played. I'll probably have some pictures up right now showing you our final boards here with yeah. all of our dragons, all of our eggs. But if you have any questions, please make them in the comments below. We'll get down there. Or at least I'll get down there. Will you get down there? I'll think about Maybe it. Maybe we'll get down there, both <laughs> of us, and answer whatever we can. Until next time, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then.